let me ask you something. The spe- I don't like the way you paced that at all. <laughs> this sounds like I'm about to be asked an, an embarrassing question. No, no, no. I, I think it's something that a lot of us have problems with, and that is remembering people's names. Oh, man. I, yeah. I try so hard. I mean, we meet a lot of people in our line of work. You would think they lock us in a room, just the two of us. We wouldn't meet anyone ever, but we do. I mean, we're out a lot. We meet a lot of people. And I try to come up with devices and mechanisms, and I, I still struggle. It's a struggle. I was at a class reunion. Uh, we had a like a multiple class. You know, like, right, like, like five, five years. Year, yeah, yeah. five-year class reunion a couple of weeks ago. And it was funny. You saw people. And it was like, usually when I see people, it's like, where do I know you from? Okay, now you know to, where you know I was like, from. okay, I know where you're from. What class did you graduate? <laughs> and it, that, there was always that, that little thing. Well, there is actually a guy who is a memory champion. Okay. And he has given us an opportunity to learn how to remember someone's name. You ready? Here we go. He says, when someone tells you their name... Create an entertaining mental picture of them and put something in that picture that makes you think of their name. Like, for example, if you meet somebody named Ross, you picture him in the apartment from friends. Picture him there. It's like, okay, he's Ross. So the so next, next time, time you see him, you call him Chandler. <laughs> because he, oh, or Joey. Minute, Joey. Oh, I'm so confused. I didn't complete the picture. Uh, it says if somebody has a less sitcom friendly name, it still works. For example, if the guy's name is Hasiba, picture him laughing with a zebra. Ha, zebra, you know. Oh, my goodness. This is way too much thought. No wonder what? I can't no. remember anybody's <laughs> name. That's too much <laughs> thought going into all that. He says get in the habit of making mental pictures. It'll help you to remember people's name for a long time, even if you go months or years before you see them again. So... Somehow this reminds me of an episode of the Brady Bunch where Marsha's doing the driving test. Do you remember this? I don't. And she was failing it. So it rem- I, I'll explain why it reminds me of this. So she's doing the driving test and she fails. She hits the she hits the egg on the pylon, whatever, whatever. And so she goes to do a, a test again and someone says, don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Picture your driving, the, the driving instructor, the guy doing the uh-huh. test in his underwear. So then they have, of course, the guy really in his underwear, his undershirt. That's her mental picture. Yeah, and she's giggling the whole time or whatever. So now I'm like, everybody I meet, am I going to picture them in their underwear? That won't help me remember or that. Or laughing with a zebra. That's all I'm going to remember from this conversation, unfortunately. <laughs>